From Kharkiv, the Ukraine, Alexander, the nail of off day. Text you listen to the referee, time. Russell Mo Again, 10-point light heavyweight division. Let's see how he develops. Mike Montoya in the... Uh, Alexander with... Nice just fighting this guy, very wide eye. Wozik uh, really looks like a, a professional fighter in, uh, in his body, and he may have hurt him with that shot there. Montoya, a little bit uh, thick around the middle. Doesn't look to be in the same condition as Wozik. It's a nice job hanging right in this. Montoya waits and he pays for it as he gets clipped with the right hand and then the left hook. Bozik thinks he hurt him and he cracked him with a solid right hand that time. Closing seconds now, this is the first round. And he caught him with a good shot that time. This fight's all over. Gordon, it's lights out. Man, look at that. Right on the chin. You couldn't catch him any better. El vencedor por knockout. The nail. Alexander Gavosde. Reach so everything on the side of Alexander Vogt and Corey Black Eyes coming. Alexander the nail Busty. Take care of this unfinished business. Let's go. Let's see if it works tonight. We've got another guy facing a gigantic height and reach disadvantage. Well, this is the third one in a row where we've had a tall guy two times and Keith Holmes. Uh, Many of those guys have formed deck. This is probably the most experienced professional guy he's fought. See a, a gym. But this is a stepping stone, obviously, for Vodak, who's a pretty good fighter. And uh, and then he drives the jab. And uh, he looks very rangy. Long arms, long-legged guy, nice up. He's touching this guy up. Below. But if you look at him, he's got a good professional stop body. And he's landing a lot of less and less difficult. That's right. You love what the Eastern European fighters, ah! when they turn... As you take a look at some of the action, see what we mean about controlling the ring. Good job. First uh, round, established his style of fight immediately and just took over. All right, this is scheduled for eight rounds. Our first two fights, we had the... Uh, uh, oh, look at this. He drops him with a shot. Three. How about that? The count's four, up to four. Five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. Ready? He came right out through a big combination. Landon, Box. you could see that Cummings was hurt right off the bat. And he's in trouble right now. Yeah, he is. And, and look at uh, Bozdik is all over him, hitting him with solid right hands, left hooks. He better punch back or the referee will stop the fight. He's letting him get away with sitting on the rope. He's got nailed with two, three, four right hands in a row. And then he loads up a shot, does Corey Cummings, and he misses it. He's out on his feet. Look at his legs are gone. He's got those stiff legs, too. The legs have stiffened up on him. The ref wants to stop the fight. He's down for the second time. Remember, there is a three knockdown rule here. Takes the eight count, he comes forward. You all right? You sure? He says, yeah, I'm well, okay. Now. He's, uh, he's lying, uh, Colonel. <laughs> of course he is. The fighters don't want to quit. There he goes down the third time. It's all over. Three knockdown roll and vote, and that's it. It's all over. Let me walk with you back. And so, Votzik, uh, I like what I see.
Well, that was impressive. Get away. It was right at the start of the round. He came right up, but you can see Cummings is already hurt. Look at his leg stiffen up there. His left leg betrayed him right there. A couple of left hooks. He went down to the body, and down he goes from the overhand right. Bozdick did a good job of recognizing the predicament that Cummings was in immediately, and he did not give Cummings any opportunity to get himself back into the fight once again. He just poured it on until he went down again. He did manage to get up here. Referee asked him if he was okay. He said yes. He certainly wasn't. It was uh, basically duck soup after that. Well, but very impressive. Uh, Cummings, uh, uh, you know, stayed in with. Uh, he actually uh, had a draw with William Joppy, you know, the first. weighing in this is Alexander Vozdik on the scale one hundred seventy four point five pounds one from Sao Paulo Brazil Clayton Conceição on the scale one hundred seventy six point five Putting his undefeated record on the line, Alexander Vozdik facing off Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Seventy-five pounds, ten-point must recommend. scoring system. No standing, eight counts. There's no three knock with us uh, throughout the course of the evening. So here we get set to go. Command early, and Muhammad he wants to show the about fifty-two, three minutes from now. And gets around that ring pretty good too. For yeah, he moves size. well as he shifted off to the right. Muhammad, he, no, close that. Pack him. Oh. <laughs> so obviously I broadcast that. Stop. <laughs> here he is. A... Jay trying to get the. You know, I don't know. I think my is the minutes and seconds tick by. We've got Alex Simplify in the corner. Give a fighter. Well, you know, oh, right hand landed by Goldstick. Almost dropped Muhammad. In. Now it gets. That was really. You don't get any closer to being. No. <laughs> yeah, the voluntarily. <laughs> His legs gave way, but the much more the eight Muhammad. Is yeah, that? really. I mean, just awkward, unorthodox. Oh, right hand right on the button, and down goes Mohammedi. I don't know if he's going to be able to recover from this. No, he's not. Wow. He's knocked out. Wow, wow what a shot. 
right hand right on the fight and he's been stopped here in the second round and a really really powerful folks I was mentioning you know his stance is a beautiful stance and perfect and he launched that right hand right from the shoulder looked like he learned that one right out of a book bang look at that just short crisp right hand setting it up with the jab perfect stance launch the right crowd and abf light heavyweight champion from the ukraine the nail alexander Ten fights, ten victories, including eight wins by knockout from Kharkiv, Ukraine. The undefeated, reigning and defending NABF light heavyweight champion, Alexander Gavosdi. Sergey Kovalev, Gavosdi got rid of him in two rounds with as hard a straight right hand that they're basic of uh, and sometimes <laughs> and Carl Carpensi, who has a lot of experience as well Jim I'll use him as a sparring partner big bombs and we'll see if he can handle the oh, punching power of Vuzdik oh just drop Vuzdik and down goes Vuzdik on a Karpinski he's right hurt hand. Vuzdik and close. Bad. Five, first knockdown six, of Vuzdik's professional seven, career eight, no, I know this is okay. the first fight no, no, no. of an you know okay. of an undercard you could stop him here sure would you gotta Can take his time, though, but not get caught himself. If he gets Arpinski caught, himself. going after him in a hurry. Some experience for Buzdick, who's heavily favored here to reestablish himself a little bit in the prospect. Buzdick is knocked out. Casey Carpins is just laying in, waiting for the mistake, and then bing, there goes a right hook that really dropped uh, Buzdick because he wasn't ready for it. That's a beautiful right hook right on the chin that Buzdick had no clue was coming, and it's always the ones that you don't see coming. <laughs> Before he had a win over this. Uh, you got to find out if a guy can take a punch. It's the same thing that most of those guys from that region do. Bostic, that is. Go. Finding a, a strange kind of range to land those moves in here, too. Uh, uh. It's followed that straight uh, right hand with a, with, a right, with a left hand and a right hook behind it. Then he would land. A couple of good combinations here by Vostik. And I'm wondering, Roy, should Karpensi have come in as the B-side fighter? If you ever get the, hurt, the main fighter hurt, you just have the sense that Karpensky is a to be. I told you it was no walkover. Third fight against Alexander Brand on August 6th is the last stepping stone toward the big matchup. Andre Ward side by Karpensi. Good body shot in the same place after you throw. And from side to side. Well, that's what his corner told. Boxing match in which Bozdick is the busier, more active. He has to respect them. And now that. Yeah, this is not one of the guys that you're going to hit one time and he's going to lay down. Bozdick. And as round four begins, our unofficial ringside scorer is Boxing Hall of Fame member Harold Letterman. Harold, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim. I got it all even. 28 to 28. Actually, is, is that, you know, most European fighters are very... You're not sure uh, how, how long of a notice. Just in shape enough to take what you get. Doing things. The gold medal. And so they're a little less satisfied. From the Seoul Olympics in 1988. Good right hand by Boston. To have gained control of the boxing match. Millennial titleist Adonis Stevens. Haugen, who had a lightweight belt, came out of the tough man competitions and fought like a kind of right away. It also shows a lot of in box. He has a brother, one of his brothers that box has a hell of a punch. Put on the bridge of his nose. A line from Raging Bull. Aim for not as connected, don't have the glossy Rex called the A side fighter. Mm -hmm. It has the promotional money behind them. Look at this. Well, he got the heart of a champion now. You got to worry about that. It has the look of a last oh, rally. He lands the left hand. 
misses with this big left, but moments before he started this big rally, Carpensi was rubbing his nose to unload all the rest of my arm. Triple G and September 17, Canelo Alvarez. Here's a straight right hand down the middle. That was a good right hand that may have caused a cut. That caused the cut. Yeah. Yes. A immediate fight doing that. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Good body shot, though. Unsteady Wobbly. legs. And I know now Carpensi wish he had gone after him then because anymore. Well, to your point, that Carpensi may be fading a little bit. At the end of the last round, was that Carpensi's last stand? And a body shot like knocks Carpensi down. Straight right hand to the liver Five, by Alexander Vozdik. Perfectly chosen eight, shot. Nine. I told you, Jim, it was just a matter That's of that. Time. That's a knockout. At this time, we have seen him mess with the eye a couple of times. And um, that straight right right there hit the eye again. And he hit it right there. You see his hand on his eye. His eye was pretty hurt. I think the, uh, the, the knuckle pushed the eyeball back. And I think it caused his vision to blur. Then that straight right to the body gave just another reason to go down. But I knew a good body shot would cause problems at that point because he was so fatigued. Predicted it perfectly, Roy. You said a body shot could get him out of there, and that was, in fact, in fact the case. It was kind of a delayed reaction knockdown. Carpensi evaluated the effect of the body shot and said, huh. Still the undefeated NABF light heavyweight champion from Ukraine, Oleksandr Gvozdi. So now we're in the light heavyweight division where the main event takes place. Vozdik at 29 is a very highly regarded prospect. From Blantre, Malawi, Africa, the challenger, Isaac Golden Boy Chilemba. Light heavyweight champion, Oleksandr Kvozdi. 10 rounds. Obey my commands. Good luck now. Touch glove. Let's go to work. Lives when he trains in America in Oxnard, California, and trains as people are accustomed to saying in the sport off and mount a fast pace again. Give them a lot to hit. They don't want to try to do. Jab to the body. Double up on the jab. A lot of people say, oh, well, Jackson for four weeks of his time, Of course, time. knowing rule. I wonder if he's Good found luck, his calling. Boxing moves so that you want him to do and not just right. Stick is. Setting him up for with the left hand. And Vozdik has had a, of an amateur career to, to establish position. Moment, it's to for 10 rounds. Time. Chess Nation Trainer of the Year Award okay, in here to do that. To win the Trainer of the Year when you don't have your own gym established and your own gym culture established. Can't establish their own. Because otherwise he's going to miss the target over the top. Our total punches landed graphic shows in the room. Let's hear what they had to say. Super six tournament, right, guys, several fights luck. there, including the culmination. It's to be using some mental. Great. Okay, Jim, I got a three to nothing, 30 to 35 knockouts, I believe. Oh, okay. and, and I'm gonna guess that that is a record in the sport. Now Bozdik going to work on Chalemba against the ropes. Blood on Chalemba's nose. Chalemba not firing back and Bozdik unloading. Chalemba coming back with a good left hook. For most career knockouts. <laughs> ah, perfect uppercut by Vozdik. Comeback in this round. Didn't have good, clean body shots. Flurry in the middle of the round, most likely that Vozdik threw along the ropes. And some of those punches he fights here in the United States. He lives in the... Uh, doesn't that with a butt mean you're second-guessing how alongside the ring? Sometimes that is surround where not a lot of clean punches like it wasn't a one two It was like a two one two combination. You're not gonna the word dominating. Okay, eventually if the fight continues card and he does indeed give the fifth Bozdick starts out with a good left hand upstairs Good belt line shot by Chalemba Now Bozdick comes back with four punches upstairs over time and um, Clearly, about what one of the things you need to do to score. Remember, reacting to what's happening. CompuBox averages um, performance so far. Un unless he can do something to stop Chalemba here, which would open some eyes. I don't know if people are going to be banging down the door to see Vostik again. 
And we mentioned that he was an Olympian for Ukraine. As she embarks on what guys for this moment, American professional boxing for women. We haven't seen a star. Devin is boxing much better this round. Oh! They come back. I, I think that's a great point you make, Jim. And the action do even better. It's it, it been of a fighter. If instead of uh, uh, fighting a desperate fighter, him being able to get him out of there, gets caught with something big. Why wasn't he good enough to be very impressive if Vozdik could stop Chalimba? Particularly given the fact that Sergey Kovalev went the full distance of 12 rounds with Isaac Chalimba. Knocked him down, but couldn't knock him out. He didn't bloody him. He didn't bust up his face the way Vozdik is doing to Chalimba right now. But nobody knocks out Chalimba. Fight against this level, I suppose, if you don't consider Muhammad Ibn. Want me to stop it? Yeah. Want me to stop it? Yeah, I'm, I'm stop. That's it, yeah. Jones is the NABF light heavyweight champion from Ukraine, Oleksandr Kvozdy. Measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. And they both weighed in within a pound of the 175 pound limit. The ISK, the monster, Gonzalez. Alexander. Daniel Kvozdy! At all times. Touch gloves. Two gloves once. One and switch. Two losses in a row. The first of them, almost no one other than the judges agreed. It just appeared to be one of those simply take overhand right against both sticks. Just threw a left and a right over the top right. He's trying to fight with knives. If he can't throw to the overhand right, then when he will be the outside, you see, has the advantage. Distance and aren't very careful, he can knock you out. And Vosek has good combination from his position. This is what he does. He throws punches and he throws overhand right. Now Bozdik comes back and lands a solid left hook. Pedro Diaz, whom we've seen with Eater in the corner of Uniesca Gonzalez, and he has... It all depends. I miss him. You know, he needs if he don't. But no, I don't think it's going to be a big factor. I think and be first at all times in this fight. And he was a southpaw and not posted down to the right hand. Yep. And that's a harder punch to see. No and question. the kinds of punches that... Uh, with the right hand, overhead which is why right, Gonzalez came close to goes, landing it. He goes right to the right hand because he goes... Uppercut. Uh, to so up trouble as the fight goes on. That's why Gonzalez, he has to go to the body, invest in the body, to take those legs. He cannot win a boxing match, as we see. Cannot win a boxing match. Hand there, set up in combination by Vostin. His hands are accelerating here in round two as he's gotten a look at the way Uniesca Gonzalez fights. Especially if Gonzalez continues to stay out three feet away from Vostin. He has to, he has to bang the body when he's punching. That's so they land more on. Gonzalez, 8 out of 50. Gonzalez need to close the gap quickly, not stand out to get hit with three or four pull punch combinations. If he continue to do this, then it'd be a boxing lesson he would receive. And in this 10-round fight, we go to Harold Letterman here in the third round for his unofficial score. Harold? Okay, Jim, I got a 20 to 18, two rounds to nothing. Alexander goes to, you know, Jim, he, he's boxing a beautiful fight. I got to tell you, left jabs, right hands, combinations. He changes direction, moves both ways, not getting hit. And he's just out boxing Gonzalez in this fight. Two to nothing, Alexander goes there. While Harold was speaking, Gonzalez got in a left hook to the body that might have been his best punch so far. We, we talk about fighters with chins, and I'll mention from time to time, the fighters with the good chins are the ones who don't get hit on the chin. And Bernard brought up, Vozdik comes out, sometimes standing straight up, and is susceptible to right hands. And he is. It, but, but right now, he don't pay the price because Gonzalez is not throwing punches. Because he down goes Gonzalez, and that's a knockdown for Vozdik. And Gonzalez nods his head. Veteran of the Cuban amateur program, been in boxing all his life, he knew. That's the danger for Gonzalez. To get inside, you have to go through that middle distance where Vozik is very effective. And Vozik is sharper, quicker, and his punch is coming really, really sharp. This is it, folks. This is a potential signature performance for Alexander Vozik who's having it all his way against Unieska Gonzalez. Some people thought that Gonzalez would be too strong and too big a hitter for Bozdik. Right now, Bozdik is wiping the canvas with him. That was not a knockdown. Gonzalez has no legs. He's cut, his nose bleeding. 
And you know, it's just time matter Fight's time over. right now. Fight's over, guys. Well, you gotta let his hands go more, Max. Because I, if you don't let his hands go more, Gonzalez is gonna grab him and hold him. But he has to right now let his hands go if, good. Lord, he let him go fast from top to bottom. If, if Gonzalez gets out of this round, it's a miracle. He is a determined, self-confident fighter, but he has been swamped by Vozdik's hand speed. Right, right. And his accuracy and the shortness and straightness of Vozdik's shots. Look, left hand, the left hand will end this fight. Yeah, the, the our left hand will end this fight. I don't know why the fight's still wobbling. going on. He has no coordination, no balance. But he has heart. Yep. But he has heart. Right, right. But it's it's early in the fight, and he's taking a savage beating this round. I don't know why it needs to end with him unconscious. Right. I think Harvey Doc ought to think about stopping this. He's already so far behind on the scorecards. It's hard to imagine him coming back. Guys, this, this guy hit. This fight is over. Yeah. It's enough. And the corner is stepping up onto the apron and saying to Harvey Doc, we don't need any more of this. We almost tries to figure out what hit him. It comes from the jab. It comes from the jab. The jab set it all up. And then the combinations after the jab and after he realized he had Gonzalez hurt, he finished it, and that's what most young fighters or fighters at a stage where they're ready to take the big step finish to do. But he done it, and he continued to keep throwing punches to end the fight. Gonzalez was so tough, he hung in there as long as I, I, mean, I was shocked he lasted that long to hang in there. But eventually, he was going to get hit with one of those punches that was coming. The right hand off the jab, the jab really didn't land, but the right hand. Because Gonzalez is now is, is, is hanging in the wind. He's not reacting. He's fighting off the instincts right now. And that's when you get either real hurt or knocked out. So this is an opportunity now for people to take a look at what they see in front of them right now, which is a, which is a big fight coming. You saw in that previous picture that Vosik had blood on the back of his head as he was going after Gonzalez. That blood had to have come from Gonzalez's nose and mouth. Yeah, because Volk didn't get hit. He didn't get hit any time. And here is Usyk really torturing Lomachenko as Lomachenko, or excuse me, Gonzalez, as Gonzalez had completely lost his balance. And now you see the corner coming up on... The winner still undefeated from Kharkiv, Ukraine. And now the unified NABF and NABO light heavyweight champion, Alexander the Nail Gvor.